Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. Today we're going to talk about parenting. I know it's not the most sexy subject, uh, but it is so important when it comes to marriage and being in relationships and just being on the same page with your spouse. If there's any strategy that I can offer you that's probably the most effective way that I've learned to raise kids, it's this one. Good cop, bad cop. My wife and I have been married for 20 years. We have two teenage children, one boy, one girl. Uh, our girl is our oldest, she's 16 and very 16. And my son is 13 and we have learned a lot through the years. And when it comes to parenting, you can read all the books in the world. You could, you could do everything right, but you are going to have tough times no matter what you do, okay? That's just going to happen. That's just going to happen when it comes to raising kids. Uh, God makes them a certain way, and you can steer them in the right direction, but you can't, you can't make them into something they're not. Now, if you don't know what good cop, bad cop is, it's something that's, uh, that's been talked about a lot when it comes to, uh, it's actually in movies a lot, a lot of stories uh, when it comes to detectives, how they're partnered. Uh, that's where it comes from. So the good cop, that's the sympathetic cop. Uh, that's the, uh, the nice one, uh, the friendly one, they're your buddy. And the bad cop is the confrontational one and it's, they're typically the threatening one, okay? Highly effective when it comes to kids, highly effective when it comes to just basically life in general. In a good marriage, in a healthy relationship, you're, you make a good team and this is, this is one way where that's possible. Now, when it comes to this particular tactic in, in children, the bad cop is typically, that's, it's going to be way more effective if they're first to bat. <laughs> okay. If something goes wrong, the bad cop comes in and they're more stern, they're more threatening, they're more in their face. Once your kids understand the consequences of their action, that's where the good cop comes in and be and is their friend and tells them what they need to do to avoid such punishment. And it's highly effective. So most kids don't really understand what's right and wrong. It's your job to tell them what's right and wrong and establish those boundaries and establish the consequences. But most kids don't understand how, how that's going to affect them and what they need to do to get out of those consequences, all right? But the next part, this is critical, y'all. You need to switch roles. If somebody's the bad cop, they don't, you don't want them to always be the bad cop. If, if you get into a situation where you have a fun parent and you have the, the bad parent, that is not a healthy environment for a child. Switch your roles, okay? Somebody be, somebody's the bad cop in one situation, and you switch the roles in the next in the next situation. Okay, that's going to increase your trust with your children because if you're always negative, if you're always bad towards them, they're going to just say no matter what I do, they're going to be mad at me. So, behavior's not going to change. But switch roles. If someone's a good cop first, they can be the bad cop next, back and forth. You want to avoid a situation where the same parent is the bad guy all the time. That is not, that's not a good thing. So here's an example. My 16 year old daughter, she's been very 16 lately and she copped an attitude with my wife and I stepped in and told her her consequences. She lost some of her privileges, which are numerous, easy to pick out. The, the easiest one nowadays is the phone. Okay. You take away it. <laughs> the phone of a teenager and it's life is life is ended. Okay. So obviously the phone was ours. Uh, we took away internet access. Um, and so those were the consequences. She didn't really understand what she did wrong. And it was our job to tell us, uh, to tell her that she crossed our boundaries. Okay. Which was disrespect. She was disrespecting her mother. I got angry within reason, told her what she lost and the time frame in which she lost them. Okay. I was very, very clear on what she lost and very, very clear on how long. All right. There's no guesswork. 
Well, my wife chimes in, and so she cushioned the blow, was basically telling me to calm down. I Well, I mean, this, I wasn't upset, but she, she was being nurturing, all right? That's, that's how this went, and we left it at that, all right? Well, the next night, we switched the roles, okay? So I was good cop, and she was bad cop. She lost her temper because... She was disrespected once again, which my teenage daughter didn't understand my wife's boundaries. And so I went and picked her up at her activity. And we had a 15-minute conversation in which I was the good cop. Okay, I told her what she did wrong. And I told her what she needed to do to fix it. All right, in a calm, cool, collected manner and in a fun way. Okay, I was I was making jokes uh, and she was very, very receptive to me, okay? Even though I was the bad cop the night before. I told her what she needed to do. She was a little hesitant in doing it, but she did it. She was forgiven. She got her privileges back. It's a highly effective parenting technique, and I'm sure there's all kinds of books out there, but that's something that my wife and I have learned over time, how to really... It's not manipulating your, your kids, it's it's teaching them cause and consequence. They need to know what's wrong and they need to, they need to know how to fix it and avoid it for the future. One bad decision leads to more bad decisions, so on and so forth. Okay. That's what that's your job as a parent. You can't change them, uh, but you can you can mold them and steer them in the right direction. It's up to them to make the, the good choices. But the key is to work as a team and you both need to be on the same page. The problems lie when both of you are a good cop or both of you are a bad cop consistently. If if you're too nice to them, they're going to walk all over you. And if you're ugly to them all the time, they're going to you're just going to make them depressed and they're going to shut down. So a good combination and a good balance between those two things, good cop, bad cop. So there you have it. If you like this material, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate those that have already done that. Thank you so much. Just getting started. And until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.